Well, what's going on guys? My name is Trevor. Welcome to the Vet YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to clean out your dryer vent and hopefully save you from mistakenly buying a new dryer and you don't need one. Let's roll that intro and then cut right back into the work. Here's some reasons that you might want to clean out your dryer vent. Maybe you've never done it. That's a good time to do it. If you haven't, if you don't know when the last time it was done, it's a good time to do it. If your dryer isn't drying your clothes quite right, quite right, and you got to do like three cycles to dry your clothes, there's something wrong, and it could very well just be your dryer vent. So save your money and have your dryer vent cleaned out before you go buy a brand new one of the fancy dryers that tells you hey bob i'm done drying your clothes are ready <laughs> all right i'll show you guys what tools you're going to need next and how to do it all right so the first thing you're going to need to get is get one of these little wire brushes you may need a phillips or a flathead screwdriver and what i am doing is i've removed my dryer hose from the wall the vent hose and now i'm going to go outside and show you guys what you got to do out there so outside of your house you're going to want to locate your dryer vent it's going to look something like this and you may have some lint on the ground and you can tell kind of looking in there it's kind of dirty so what we're going to do is we're going to pop these out you just give them a little tug give them a little tug like that just like that and I put them in order so I got my top middle and bottom and now you can really see in there that stuff causes fires so to avoid that we're gonna take this little brush and we're gonna just start sticking this through here maybe oh yeah and you want to feed it all the way through. And we're going to actually do this a few times. So I'm going to set you guys down, set up a time lapse, and let you watch. All right, so you can see our nice big pile here of gunk and look in there, it's a whole lot cleaner. Not perfect, but let's go inside and we're gonna use this inside now. So here's the inside. And I probably can't see inside there. You can see the light from the outside though. However, look, we found a snake skin in there. A snake skin, yeah. It's crazy, it happens. I guess especially if you live here in Kansas, that's just one of the requirements to be a Kansan, I suppose. And there we go. So we've got ours done. We're going to go ahead. And we should have some dry clothes in just a little while. Once we get that dried up, I mean dried up, cleaned up, you're going to want to put your skins back in to try and keep more of them snakes out so just give it a little bend in the middle and it should pop right in so i get one side in there bend the middle a little bit boom this will keep the critters from going inside of there and there just like that we're done on the outside and i'm gonna pick up most of my mess here that i got throw it away it's mixed in with these but hey it's all right then we're going to clean up the inside put the dryer vent back on the line and we are officially ready to begin drying clothes again Yee. but anyhow 
Now your dryer should dry those clothes nice and good and prevent your house from burning down because this is what causes fires. So smash that thumbs up button, drop me a comment, let me know if this video helped you out. And if it did, consider clicking that red subscribe button. We're working on our way to 1000 subscribers. If you, and you could tell a friend, if you could subscribe and you also tell a friend to subscribe, we'll get there in no time at all. I'm trying to hit it before the end of this year. Let's see if we can do it. God bless you guys. So, before you guys head out, if you are new to the channel, we have almost daily vlogs. As long as we're doing healthy and we're not super sick, we have daily vlogs, so go ahead and check those out.